Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Steve Cooper. You're watching In Deep on the Delta, and this is the weekly Delta fishing report for the week of May 27th. And I'd like to start off this week by thanking all of my contributors, not only the folks that send their reports in every week, but uh, Jeff Suhu from Suhu Sport Fishing, Outdoor Sportsman here in Stockton, and Hook, Line, and Sinker in Oakley. Thank you guys for all the help you've been giving me with, uh, with the reports. I really appreciate it. Let's start off with water conditions out here on the Delta. What can I say? They're perfect. Water temperatures are 72 to 76 degrees, three to five feet visibility. We have dealt with a little bit of wind, but you know, it's a daily thing. Check your weather. You can always get out of the wind out here. And in most cases, uh, it's just been perfect conditions to really put some fish in the boat, but it hasn't happened that way every day. So let's. Let's get into the report and we'll start talking about uh, stripers as usual. The shops got very little information on stripers. There was one uh, uh, report coming out of hook, line, and sinker out in Oakley. There was a couple guys that were really wrecking stripers on uh, jerk baits. That is the lone good report. I want to really focus on what Captain Jeff Suho, uh, Suhu has talked about and you know I've talked about Jeff the last couple of weeks and he has just been ripping fish 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 fish days and that's been for the last two to three weeks well in his own words it hit the wall this week um, he's had to really work for his fish he's moving around a lot he is really scratching for every fish that he catches Jeff says that uh, the males that he ha uh, have been catching are all milked out the females are spawned he believes that the big slug of fish that came in and did their spawning are now on their way out back out to uh, back out to the bay. So with that, when Jeff is having trouble catching fish, uh, it's a good sign that everybody's having trouble catching fish. So hopefully, uh, we'll keep an eye on it the next couple of weeks. Maybe there'll be a little bit of rebound. We can extend the striper season out for a couple of weeks. But it looks like that uh, season is kind of oh, here's something out there. Yeah, it might have been a largemouth. Anyhow, it looks like that striper season is the big bulk of those fish are moving out and it's going to be tough fishing um, from here on out. That's the striper report. Let's get right into the largemouth bass report and I'll start off by talking about uh, the tournament that I fished and I'm only doing this because if I had won the tournament I'd be out here bragging about it and I, I didn't win this one. This was the uh, Wild West team tournament. Uh, 100 and, oh, Clear Lake. And you know, Clear Lake's a great fishery, but it's like the Delta this year. There are days when it fishes well and days when it hasn't been fishing well. And last Saturday was one of those days when it was tough fishing. 120 boat field, only four teams broke 20 pounds. My partner Troy and I had 17 and some change to cash a check. I think it, you needed 17 and a little more change than what we had, so we were just out of the money. Uh, had a good day or had a fun day caught a lot of fish a lot of two and a half to three pound fish We had a five five nine in the boat and we, we just couldn't put that big uh, one more big bite to, to put us in the money But it was a fun day and I want to talk about that in a minute But before I do that I want to congratulate Nick Canamono and his partner you guys know Nick from the bass hookup They were one of the teams that put 20 pounds in the boat got a solid fourth place finish and that's that's saying something uh, on, a, on a, a good lake but a tough day and really tough competition. I want to congratulate Nick and um, I guess we'll see you guys at the TOC in Don Pedro. Then I might have to be apologizing to you for kicking your butt down there. But anyhow, congratulations to Nick. You guys aren't watching the Bass Hookup. Make sure you check Nick out on that uh, channel. He does a lot of Delta uh, um, uh, videos and uh, I'm sure you guys are watching already but if not, make sure you watch. Okay, the bass fishing here. It's been up and down and mostly down. All of the reports that I've been getting from, from folks uh, that have been turning it, to, uh, reporting into my channel, they've been catching fish, but it's been slow and it's all over the board what they're catching them on. It's pretty much junk fishing. Uh, all of the uh, reports from the shops, it's been pretty darn slow. Nobody is talking about catching a lot of big fish and nobody is setting it on fire out here. With that, I'll talk about what I've been seeing here in the last uh, week to 10 days. And I've, I've been out a couple times. I have one more tournament I'm gonna to fish next week and then I'm gonna really be concentrating on the Delta 
hopefully three, four, five days a week because I do think we're sitting on a powder keg here and, and it's going to blow any day. Of course, I've been saying that for the last couple weeks and it hasn't, but something's going to break here. Anyhow, one thing that I am seeing this week is a lot more fry in the water and I'm seeing two, um, two classes of fry. One that looks like it's just been hatched, a little bitty pinheads about half an inch long and I'm seeing some bigger fry that are maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half long, which that's good news because it's showing that some of the fish have success, successfully spawned and they're around. Last week I didn't see a lot of fry, but I did get a lot of um, uh, feedback from uh, folks that have been out in Big Break and Frank's track, and they were seeing a lot more fry out there. So good sign. I, I don't think anybody is going to tout that it's been a great spawn for the bass but this week I'm starting to see more males in the shallows and they're not all over but if you move around enough you'll find those banks the spawning banks that there's a lot more males on them and if you keep a close eye out there are bigger females that are coming they're not in the shallows yet but they're sticking their head moving in and out with the full moon I fully suspect that we're going to have another week or two in this moon phase of maybe some pretty successful spawning. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. So if we're lucky, we'll get some more fish spawning right now and we will have some fish spawning on the next moon phase and maybe we'll do okay as, as far as the spawn goes. Now my fishing, because it's been a little slow for me, my first day of fishing, I, was, uh, I went out uh, I think Monday. I got out here about 4.30 in the morning. I wanted to try a morning trip and fish some top waters through that change of light. Fish my butt off for about two hours during the prime dark to light period and it was a little underwhelming. I caught one decent fish. I got a couple um, a couple kind of half try rises, boils, you know just not really they wanted it, didn't want it, boiled under it, blah 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 really not worth getting up at 4 30 in the morning or 4 in the morning and getting out here and being out here before dark today uh, i'm going to stay out till after dark and i'm going to see if there is an evening bite so top waters haven't been that great uh, all the fish that i've been catching have been on worms they've been moving uh, slow moving worms just letting it sit like we've been talking about for the last two or three weeks there are fish being caught on frogs and punching there are a few fish being caught on chatterbait, but this week I'd have to tell you my number one bait would be a worm. Number two, if you are out at the change of light in morning or you're staying out till the evening, definitely keep your topwaters on. Uh, my uh, topwater fish um, came on a, um, I was throwing a whopper plopper and a walking bait, a, uh, you, you guys know I throw the uh, bubble walker. My uh, fish came on the bubble walker and it was a walk, 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 stop, walk, 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 stop. And they were hitting that, that retrieve that was slow and kind of a fe finesse retrieve. Uh, the week before I was getting some fish on the whopper plopper, just burning it around. This week I've got nothing on that whopper plopper, nothing wanted to chase it. And I do notice that a lot of the hits that I am getting, they're I told you guys last week, I think the bigger females just aren't recovered enough from the spawn to come up and really start slamming stuff, but that's going to change in a hurry. So worms, uh, topwater baits uh, in the morning and the, and the evening, and make sure you, you throw a slow topwater bait and a moving topwater bait. If you want topwater during the day, you'll have to fish a frog and get it way back into the shade pockets and into... Um, uh, some of the surface vegetation, the fish are moving under that vegetation. It's starting to get warmer and warmer out here. Sun's coming up. They're using that vegetation more and more. So you can get frog fish all day. Uh, so worms, top water. The th third uh, bait would be a chatter bait or punching. And again, I haven't, I've done some punching, but my punching hasn't been really successful. I've caught a few fish. I haven't put a lot of time in. Uh, as soon as the uh, weather temperatures or the the, uh, the daytime temperatures start to get over 90 consistently. I'll start punching more and more, but it's just junk fishing. Go out there. I hope you guys are able to get out. I hope you all catch a few fish. I hope this report helps you to formulate your plan. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope to see you out on the water. If I don't, I'll talk to you next week. 
If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hey, guess what? I just hit 3,000 subscribers this week, so thank all you guys. I want to thank you guys who have been subscribing. Um, 3,000 people listening. It sounds pretty crazy to me, but I, I'm digging it. So uh, thank you guys for subscribing, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the river. If not, stick around, and I'll check you guys out on next week's report, and I'll give you the rundown. Thanks again. Bye-bye.